What is going on guys? Welcome to Greg Ellis TV Daily. Let's get into the tech news. But before we do, I wanted to remind you guys, I really, really appreciate if you would send me a 30 second or less video letting me know which smartphone is the best smartphone of the year and send it to greggles.tv at gmail.com. Um, I love having, I love doing this stuff and in, interacting with you guys and putting a video out and getting you guys on the channel. So I've only honestly received like two or three videos at this point. I really would really like to get at least 10. So if you wanna be in it, Shoot it over to me as soon as possible. It's only gonna take, hold up your phone, talk for a second, tell me what the best phone is, and uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Really, really easy. And again, I would super appreciate it. First story of the day is the Galaxy Note 10 Plus Special Star Wars Edition is officially up for order at this point. So if you wanna order it, it starts off, or it is really, $12.99. You can trade in a device and get it to as low as they say, $961.99. And with it, again, you get a special Star Wars Edition of the Galaxy Note 10. Plus, you also get the red X, uh, red pen. You get Galaxy Buds that are red and black. You get a special metal Star Wars pin. I think it looks great. Again, I'm not a Star Wars fan, but I think it looks pretty damn cool. Comes in 256 gigabytes. That's the only size and it's linked in the description down below. Next up, the Galaxy Note 10 fourth beta update has been pushed out and you can see right here, it brings with it a few improvements such as improved app entry performance, so it opens up apps a little bit quicker, reboot incur occurs while playing music, so it's fixed that, no vibration when separating the S Pen, an issue where the save cancel icon did not appear while writing, writing off screen memos, an app cannot run normally despite all permissions allowed. Let's fix that. Overlapping recent apps view and apps screen. Issue where the app icon disappeared and the issue of restoring lock screen default theme when powered on and off after downloading and applying theme. This update came out even sooner than uh, the last one. I mean, it was, I think it was about a week since the last update's been pushed out. So very nice to see this. It might not be out exactly um, where you are, but just give it a chance and it should be out very, very soon. And the last story of the day comes out for the Galaxy S11 Plus. And this tweet comes from Ice Universe. As he says, as I guessed a month ago, the Galaxy S11 Plus really uses a 5,000 milliamp battery. You can safely use 120 hertz display because obviously 120 hertz display on your, your Galaxy S11 Plus will use a lot of battery or somewhat a lot of battery and this should help alleviate that. And you can see the photo right here as we zoom into it, 5,000 milliamps. So very, very large battery. The largest battery on a Samsung Galaxy uh, flagship phone ever. I truly, truly feel, I mean, we've had some nice Galaxy phones in the past years. Don't get me wrong, Note 10 Plus, awesome phone. I really feel like the Galaxy S11 Plus is going to be the, the largest in terms of like feeling upgrade in a very, very long time. You're talking huge camera upgrades with a 108 megapixel camera and a five times telephoto lens, um, multiple, multiple, multiple cameras on the back as well, which we already have now, but even more cameras at that point, um, up to 45 watt charging, a 6.9 inch display, 120 hertz display, 5,000 milliamp battery, Snapdragon 865, 12, mostly, it's gotta have 12 gigabytes of RAM, fast storage. It's gonna be a huge, huge phone in terms of what it's gonna give us, guys. I really think a lot of people are gonna be blown away this year. Thanks for watching. Your question of the day is, which phone out of all the phones that are coming out in 2020, do you think is or, or do you think the reviewers are going to be like, oh my God, this is the best phone of the year, or, or not, or this is the biggest, you know, in terms of changed phone? I, I really think it's going to be the Galaxy phone this year. I think that's going to be the phone that everyone, all the reviewers are like, oh my God, crazy, crazy upgrade. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. See you down the road. Peace.